I'm here at the University of Melbourne as part of the Final Frontier Festival 2016, giving you a snapshot of the Australian space community. And this is your space pod for July 13th, 2016. I'm Christopher Franson. Uh, we're here at the Final Frontier Festival, put on by the Melbourne Space Program. So we're actually a group of students from a multitude of faculties who are kind of banding together to work on engineering projects related to space. Um, our first mission is going to be related to CubeSat development and how to work through the regulatory system to get that cube launched into space so that we can later communicate with it and help our students learn how to use satellites, but also how to be involved in the aerospace industry. The Final Frontier Festival is a five-day event where we've brought together families, students, faculty, and staff to talk about aerospace engineering in a, a lot of different capacities. So we had Family Day on Wednesday, which we had workshops in which kids could participate in. We also had an exposition where we brought together a bunch of different not-for-profit companies related to space, and they had exhibits and displays and stuff like that set up for the general public. We also had a lot of speaker sessions, and today we're at the Space Up, which is the culmination of all of that as the unconference. Um, we've also had a hackathon where a number of participant teams, there was about nine, did their work throughout a 24-hour period, and they came up with some very innovative ideas related to aerospace engineering and how it's going to apply to not only our program, but to a lot of different companies as well. So the best way to get involved in the Melbourne Space Program is to check us out online at uh, space.unimel.edu.au. Um, send us an email through information on that same site. And uh, we're always looking for people to join from an advisory capacity all the way down to you know, students who are interested in working on our engineering teams or our project management teams. Um, for the general public, we always like to hear from you and we're going to be putting on a lot more events so that everyone can get involved. Hello, Jason Held. I'm the CEO of Sabre Astronautics. We're a small space engineering company doing flight software and mission control uh, out of Sydney, Australia and Denver, Colorado. Uh, we are developing the next generation of space control software. Uh, it's called the Predictive Ground Station Project, affectionately we call it PIGI, and it has the ability to autonomously diagnose problems on your spacecraft and uh, help you reduce uh, the amount of time it needs to take to, to fix your spacecraft. One of the earlier projects that, that we did uh, turned out being a really nice spin-off. Um, we partnered with a Four Pines Brewing Company out of Manly Beach uh, to make a beer you could drink in space. And it's a fun project, but it's also got a bit of science in it because you have to uh, make a recipe that uh, can handle zero gravity and, and also taste good, right? So we played around with the carbonation levels and the recipe in the beer, uh, kind of like the same sort of history that you have with the India Pale Ale. Um, we're doing the same sort of thing for the beer for space. And we've flown it a few times on parabolic flight. Cool. And if people want to learn more about Sabre, where can they go? Uh, SabreAstro.com. Hi, my name is Sebastian Chowie. I'm from CubeRider, and we let high school students code their own experiments and then fly them to the International Space Station. We do that through the Create for Space program. Any school um, can get involved with CubeRider. We've already got 50 schools involved. There are 1,000 students um, writing their own experiments and having them fly to the station. So we've actually developed a payload that's going to be flying to the ISS in November this year. And what will happen is we'll install all of the software that they've developed onto that payload and that'll get flown on a SpaceX Falcon 9 rocket to the International Space Station where an astronaut will then take it and then install it into a payload bay locker where it'll run autonomously and continue to gather data that the students have specified. And then once the data is gathered, it'll be stored on ISS servers and then beamed back down to CubeRider and then we'll distribute that back to schools. We've had to go through a lot of government processes, so um, we had to deal with SLASO, which is basically Australia's space regulatory body, um, and we worked with them for, the, for a number of months to actually be approved as a payload ready for space flight. So if you want more information about CubeRider, you can visit www.cubrider.com or alternatively, our Facebook page, CubeRider, or our Twitter handle, CubeRider, as well. My name's Stuart. Uh, I'm from Perth and Western Australia, and I'm building a little pocket cube satellite, which is a little 5 by 5 by 5 centimeter cube, and it's going to go to space and take photos of Australia. And it's a mission that I'm building in my backyard, and it'll just hopefully you know, provide images and show the world that, that Australia can make satellites and to try and inspire other kids to, to get involved in, in space and science and STEM and, and hopefully we can sort of educate a new generation to build even better, bigger and better things. Sort of to demonstrate that, that you can use low-cost electronics to build 
something that can take photos in space. And you know, with a decent amount of investment or, or university funding, um, you can build even more you know, projects with, I guess, bigger goals than just taking photos of the Earth. So you can check me out on Facebook and Twitter, uh, OzCube1, or at OzCube1, uh, and yeah, OzCube1 on Facebook as well. Thank you for watching and thank you to the Melbourne Space Program for putting on this fantastic festival this week. I'd also like to thank our Patreon patrons because without you, this crowdfunded show would not be possible. I'd like to thank our founders, architects, engineers, ambassadors and dreamers of tomorrow. And if you'd like to know how you can crowdfund these space pods, head over to patreon.com slash space pod. Don't forget to subscribe to our YouTube channel at youtube.com slash tmro. And check us out on social media. We have a Twitter, Facebook and Reddit community that you can join in and be part of the conversation. So until next time, keep on discovering.